we're doing today is assessing each player's sweat rate, the fluid that they consume, and also how much salt they're sweating out or the concentration of salt and other electrolytes in their sweat. Once we've collected all of that data, I analyse that and can work out what each player needs in terms of his fluid intake during a match or during training to obtain maximum hydration. We know that dehydration significantly affects a player's performance both in training and in competition. What we want to do is assess what each individual cricket player um, has to do to, I guess, hydrate as well as he can to ensure that in matches his performance stays as steady as possible or as enhanced as much as possible. With this team in particular, we've done a similar test before and we've found that their sweat rates vary from 700 mils per hour to about 300 mils per hour. Now that will vary also depending on the weather conditions. On a hot day like today, they may even sweat more than that. On a cooler day, they may not sweat as much. So it's really important that each individual gets a good idea about how much he is sweating. So then he knows how much ideally he should be drinking to maintain hydration and performance. Similarly to any athlete, the average person will sweat differently from what other members of their family or their friends sweat. We know that in the workplace, dehydration really affects concentration and it's important to remember that in air-conditioned offices, like most of us uh, sit in all day, um, our body is losing a lot of fluid in those air-conditioned um, spaces, so it's really important, even though you're feeling uh, cool and comfortable, really important to take small amounts of fluid regularly to ensure that you maintain hydration. Similarly, if you are playing any sport, you need to bump up that fluid intake a bit more. It really depends on the activity that the individual is undertaking and also on other factors and other, other goals that they have. Um, if you're doing very low intensity activity, for instance, if one of these guys was in the net um, hitting a few balls for half an hour, probably water is going to be okay. However, if it's a more intense training session like today, done over several hours, ideally a sports drink is best. It gives them carbohydrate for energy and it also gives them electrolytes to help maintain hydration and replace the electrolytes that they're losing in sweat.